I think a person's environment's really important and I think that it, being in a beautiful environment can definitely affect your mood. That's what interior design does. It, presents you with an emotion. It's visceral, it's something you feel when you walk into a space and you know whether it's good design or not intuitively. And that's why we all work so hard to give ourselves these beautiful environments because we know it enhances our lives to wake up and be in a good mood because you're in a beautiful space. The family that live here, they just wanted to have a really simple, nice environment. They didn't want it to be too showy. So that sort of set the brief. As we went through the process, we sort of developed this narrative of handcrafted and gentle lines, neutral tones and organic materiality. So it really does have a theme through it of craftsmanship. There's a lot of artodomus in this house and it really wasn't by design, it just organically grew. I started with the L bar with its beautiful soft tones and soft timber colour and my go-to white and then everything just gets layered upon that. I think Carol was trying to create a mood in this house and, and the mood um, is one of soft beauty. With the nature of it being a family home she, she needed to make it strong as well and the materials that she's chosen cover both of those things. The natural stone product that's throughout the whole home is our Autodomus Alba. It's a unique material to us and the great thing about it is you can literally use it for anything. The facade of the house is a Victorian timber double fronted cottage painted beautifully in white and it's very simple and elegant and I think that really did inform the inside. There's a lovely big hallway which has a view right through to the rear of the house and it narrows towards the entrance between the old part of the house and the new. When you walk in, the main bedroom on the right is very clean and simple, but as you go through that bedroom, there's a walk-in robe, and then you go through these beautiful steel doors into a sublime ensuite. The study is a very calm environment and there's a secret door through there into the main bathroom. The main bathroom is my favourite room in the house. We've avoided the shower screen. It's all very open and we've added some timber in there as well to soften up the hard surfaces. That bathroom really was designed around that bathtub and it doesn't always work out that way, but that particular space definitely grew around that gorgeous bathtub. The Viacare's family of products was designed by Patricia Occhiola for a W Hotel um, on an island that's called Viacare's. Uh, they wanted a, a, a new version of a, of, of a traditional steel tub. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic design, it's one that's been out now for, for 10 years, but you know, the old saying's always true, you know, good design lasts forever. We really wanted the living area and the dining area to feel like it was almost part of the garden. So there's a lot of windows, there's a lot of greenery visually entering the house. It was important to make it feel handcrafted and down to earth. Everything's placed in here as informally as we could so that it feels relaxed. Well, Carol selected our Elberstone for the working surface of the kitchen. It's very resistant to staining and scratching and marking generally. Because of the natural markings in the material, it's a fantastic thing to look at every day while you're, while you're making your dinner. Upstairs is the kids' domain. So we kept it fairly informal and we had some fun in the kids' bathrooms and in their bedrooms. and there's a large rumpus room out the back. I think the, the main product that probably has an artisan feel in the house from us is the, is the new volumes objects. They are basically made by hand and finished by hand. They're unique. Each piece is different. Each piece of stone is different. It, it behaves differently, but the features of the material come out in the work. And I think the beauty of natural stone, natural timber and the natural fabrics that are everywhere through the house, I think they just fit together brilliantly. I think the thing I love the most about this project is how trustful the client was. Everything fits together nicely and blends from the old to the new.